An urgent rescue operation is underway after a U.S. explorer with ties to New Jersey became trapped inside a cave in Turkey. All right, it happened after he fell ill. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley joins us now live from the newsroom. Sharon, this rescue is said to be predictably a difficult one. Yeah, very difficult, Steve. Mike Dickey is an experienced caver. In fact, he even trains others to do cave rescues, but now he finds himself in need of help. His health is stable now, but he is still too weak to make it out of the cave in a remote part of Turkey all on his own. The quick response of the Turkish government to get the medical supplies that I needed, uh, in my opinion, saved my life. Highly trained caver Mark Dickey, who's based in New Jersey, says he nearly died when he got sick from internal bleeding in his stomach while exploring a cave in Turkey. <laughs> International rescue teams responded, bringing Dickey emergency medical supplies 3,000 feet below the cave's entrance. It's really special to be taken care of. This daring mission is far from over. Dickey, who is 40 years old, is still too sick to climb up to the surface on his own. I'm not healed on the inside yet, so... I need a lot of help to get out of here. The head of the European Cave Rescue Association says it will take several teams of rescuers up to two weeks to get him out. We have really technical demanding rescue because even for caver, it's some sort of, uh, let's say, challenge to reach that, that depth in cave. Mark was co-leading an expedition to help explore this cave, so he was looking for new passageway and mapping it, and he suddenly became ill, um, very ill. Gretchen Baker is with the National Cave Rescue Commission, where Mark Dickey works as an instructor. She says his rescue will be extremely challenging. There are also really tight spots in this cave that you have to navigate by slithering through some of those have been enlarged a little bit to make it easier for him, but he has to protect his stomach while he's getting out of the cave because that's where he's had internal bleeding. Yeah, really uh, very scary when you think about the mission they are working on. Now, she tells me they expect to start moving Mark Dickey out of the cave in Turkey tomorrow, and she expects he may not be out of there for the next four to eight days, and that is all depending if his health remains stable. I'm told they've set up camps like 700 feet every 700 feet in case they have to stop and give him medical treatment. And in case you're wondering, guys, the cave is cold and damp with temperature thousands of feet below the Earth's surface hovering about 40 degrees. Yeah. I'd be so claustrophobic. No, I know. Thankfully, oh, he has no, the training at least. That's good. But boy, that's an unenviable situation for sure. That's Thank right. you, Sharon.